What's going on everybody and welcome to another Marketing Monday video. In today's video, we discuss the basics into how to start building a marketing plan and we're gonna do it in four minutes. Can we? Let's find out. Let's start the clock now. First, what is a marketing plan and why is it important? It's the basic strategy on how to bring awareness to your brand, company, product, or sellables. Without it, you're relying on word of mouth to grow your business, a risky proposition. The very first step is to define your business. This is really broken down into two separate categories, products or services. You need to figure out what your business offers, how it benefits people, and who your ideal customer is. This can be achieved through a SWOT analysis and a customer avatar worksheet. The second consideration is platform. You need to discover where you can host the content that you develop to promote your product. In this day and age, there are three or four main places where this will occur. The first and foremost is your website. Now, we'll discuss the reason this is so important a little bit later. You also have considerations such as social media platforms, a brick and mortar storefront, or a third party website such as Amazon. Now, once you figure out the best platforms for your ideal customers, it makes the next step much easier. The third consideration is content. Content is extremely vital to skyrocketing the growth of your business. There are so many types which you can produce it and make your head spin. Videos, marketing slicks, PowerPoints, blogs, white papers, infographs, eBooks or guides, press releases, case studies, testimonials. And these are just a few. The type of content and the effectiveness of that content is completely dependent on your ideal customer. A consideration though, video is becoming increasingly effective. Here we are. One third of all the time spent on the internet is spent watching video and more content is uploaded to YouTube in 30 days that the major US television networks have created in 30 years. Now the fourth consideration is promotion. This is what you can really make or break your company. Without promotion, your content isn't likely to be discovered or consumed. Choosing the wrong type of promotion can not only cost you a boatload of money, it could potentially cost you your business. Some types of promotion are social media, paid social media, webinars, trade shows, influencer marketing, email newsletters, search engine marketing, magazines, TV, radio, podcast sponsorships. So how you determine the appropriate channels to promote on? You guessed it, discovering your ideal customer and figuring out your sales cycles. Now this enables you to tailor content to the appropriate stage of the marketing funnel. The fifth consideration is follow-up. This is so vitally important to making sales. Now, have you heard of the marketing rule of sevens? It was a maxim developed in the 1930s by the movie industry when they figured out a person had to see a movie poster at least seven times before they would be compelled to go see a movie. And that was almost a hundred years ago. Now there is so much noise in the world, that number is mostly skyrocketed. Just to give you an example, a TV commercial is considered played out when the flight reaches 2,600 cumulative gross rating points, meaning the average person in the designated market area has seen the commercial 26 times. There are several ways in which you can follow up. There's phone calls, email program, and remarketing are all good ways to achieve continued exposure. Now the sixth consideration is analysis. I can't tell you how many businesses I've come across that don't look back on anything other than the top line to see if things were successful. Although that is the ultimate goal, there are too many micro steps along the way in which you could be hemorrhaging money. If you could make $1,000 a day or $2,000 a day, which would you choose? By assessing the effectiveness of marketing mix, you can potentially skyrocket the bottom line, which in turn allows you to reinvest into your company, develop a substantial savings account, or buy some really cool stuff. Some of the things which you need to analyze are sales deals, Google Analytics, social media accounts, CRM data, market funnel effectiveness, and time. There you have it, the absolute basics of developing a marketing plan. I came nowhere close to four minutes. If you learned anything, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to the channel. Do you agree with what we covered? Let us know. Why or why not in the comments below? If there's anything you'd like to learn more about, 
go ahead and pop that into the comments as well. Until next Monday, I am out of here.